What is going on, guys? Snickle here, and today I have another trophy talk for you. This is for the week of March 24th, 2019, and I've had a pretty, you know, interesting week. I've got a, some decent stuff done, but uh, nothing too crazy or too, uh, you know, absurd. But anyway, with all that being said, let's dive right into it. So most of my time this week, whether it was streaming or just free time in general, most of my free time this week went into playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And as you can tell right here, I did get the Platinum, and I did actually finish up all the DLC that I could do, which is Legacy of the First Blade Episode 1, 2, and 3. Now, the day of me recording this, they are actually releasing uh, this quest and possibly this one. So these two might be um, doable today, but uh, I need to hop on and check that. But I'm done everything that I can do in the game for now. It was a really fun game. Uh, the DLC was fun. It was, it was starting to annoy me a little bit at the end, the way that the AI was reacting and some stealth mechanics and stuff like that but all in all it's a really good game looking forward to that atlantis dlc coming out and them just continuing to possibly release additional feats and everything but i really enjoyed it and i am looking uh, or i can't wait for more of from that atlantis dlc but that's assassin's creed odyssey that that finally gets the assassin's creeds back to platinum all of them uh there's still a few that i'm missing like i need to do a few of the other uh um, Chronicle games, but other than that, I did, um, I did basically finish up all the Assassin's Creed. Now, I do want to eventually get to the point of stacking. You can probably see that I stacked Freedom Cry here, so I do want to do that for the rest of the games. Stack Assassin's Creed 3, or 3 comes out this week, but 2, Revelations, Brotherhood, um, 4, Basically, everything that I can stack, I would like to stack in this when it comes down to it. Rogue, um, all the Chronicles. So I'll get around to it at some point. But as for now, I do have all Assassin's Creed's Platinum, which is kind of cool. Um, back on that grind, that Assassin's Creed grind. Um, but yeah, that's that. R really, really enjoyed the game. And like I said... Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting more of that. I think they're taking a year off this year from Assassin's Creed, which is really nice. That gives me time to play all the other ones, uh, and they don't just sneak one in, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I didn't even know Odyssey was coming out until like months before or something like that when they released it at E3 or something. So, you know, I wasn't even really sure that, uh, that, th that it was coming out. But, uh, up next we have, uh, S S Sekiro, Sek Sekiro. We have Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and um, I got this, so this came out last Friday, everyone probably knows, everyone and their grandmother was playing it, uh, I played it on Friday night for one night, really enjoyed it, I had a decent amount of fun with it, um, I haven't gone back since just because I really haven't had the time, but I would like to get into this this week kind of threw a curveball in my stream schedule because uh, or in single play player schedule because I was planning on doing a different game before I did uh, Sekiro here but since uh, I started playing it on Friday I was like okay I'm just gonna play it and uh, and, and try to get through it um, and I might take a break from it and play the other game that I was wanting to play but all in all it's a very fun game there's a few things that uh kind of annoy me one of them being the camera angle stun locking bosses basically being able to pick you up no matter what you do even if you perfect dodge and stuff like that there's a there's a few things that i am finding pretty annoying with the game but all in all as a game like for a game it's a very well uh it's a very good game i was gonna say a well-made game but it, it's just a it's a very good game and it's enjoyable if you like the souls games you'll like it even if you don't really like the souls games you'll kind of like it because it has other aspects of um gameplay that souls games don't have so it's just a very interesting game it it's a fresh look at a soul style game fresh breath it's very nice and uh refreshing but that's that. I'll, again, stream that every once in a while on uh, on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me, there's a link down in the description below. I stream over there. I try to stream every night, but when I boost games, I really don't like to boost. 
boost or, or stream boost just because I feel like it's kind of pointless. But yeah, if you want to go follow me over there, I'll do some of that. And then there's some other games I want to play at some point. But, uh, you know, I won't really talk about that in this video because you guys will just see them. But anyway, up next we have Borderland. Now, a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I wanted to do that, uh, finish that Mad Moxie DLC in Borderlands. And uh, we, we did finish it this week. So... There's the Mad Moxie Underdome done. So now all I have to do is just, um, I guess, get through the base game and all the other DLCs. This is a game that I actually put on the stream schedule, you know, in within the next like five or six games. So I'll be getting around to this at some point just because I'm done all the deals or do, I'm done the DLC that I was really worried about, which was the Mad Moxie one. So I'm done that. So hopefully I can get around to uh, just cleaning that up, getting that platinum in 100% and moving on to possibly the next Borderlands after that. I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on the Borderlands franchise. Don't know if I like it or if I don't like it, but I guess I have to actually play through the whole game and everything to, to, uh, to have that, um, that same. But anyway, up next, we have uh, another game. I got another Platinum this week in uh, Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Finished that up on Saturday and Sunday night, I believe. Um, it might have only been Saturday night now that I think about it. But yeah, I finished up Chivalry. Uh, it was just great to get done, man. Um that game requires like 1200 kills or something like that. It's basically all it requires to get the platinum is just getting 1200 kills. You don't really have to do anything else. There's like three miscellaneous trophies in the game, but they're really uh, like dirt easy. It's just getting kills. That That's literally all you have to do to get the platinum. So that's cool. It's nice delisted platinum as well. So that, that that's nice to get done. Um, but that was quite the experience to say the least. Um, up next, which is probably the biggest thing this week, other than getting the Platinum in Odyssey, is Star Wars Battlefront. So this was a game that a few weeks ago I started to boost. And uh, the, the trophies, if you guys don't remember, the trophies that I was boosting that week were the crush them with one swift stroke. Uh, that got him the tow cable trophy and then the Y-Wing trophy. That was like the main thing that th this group was going for. So I was like, okay. So I got in, got all my trophies, and I was feeling good. And then they were like, okay, we're going to take two weeks off because last week people weren't available. We're going to come back in two weeks, which was the weekend that just passed. And they were like, we're going to do um, sabotage and some other things. Now, if you guys don't know anything about this game or boosting this game, there's there's a few DLC game modes. You have four DLC game modes, that being extraction, sabotage, battle station, and infiltration. Now... Ext the extraction game mode you can play with just four people most of the game modes in this game you can play with just four people which is really nice helps with boosting helps with a lot of things it's 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 pretty nice so extraction was four people so you can basically do this whole dlc with four people now the best bin dlc with sabotage the sabotage game mode requires a minimum of 16 people to start so we hopped in there last weekend or the weekend that just passed on Sunday we hopped into sabotage and we got our sabotage wins and then we also did some contracts some hut contracts that were related to sabotage that being like capturing and um, diffusing multiple points and getting so many defend kills and stuff like that so pretty easy stuff when you're boosting but when you're searching for sabotage and you can't find it no matter where you're searching that can be a little bit annoying so we did get the 10 sabotage wins which is like the biggest thing because that uh game mode is like impossible to find people legitimate there's this game in general is pretty hard to find people legitimate just because no one is really playing it and it makes me laugh because when you boost it so when you want a legitimate play and you want to get stuff done you can't find anyone right but when you want to boost it that's when all the people want to come out of the uh the woodworks and they want to mess with you and they actually want to play so it, it's kind of annoying but you know that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes so the goal is this upcoming weekend to um play through uh the death star and the rogue one and get the 10 wins on battle station and infiltration that'll be the goal this week then once i'm done getting the wins i'm basically done with the bigger game modes so from there i can just do hut contracts get kills with certain weapons and uh that's basically it so but this week we did start um boosting it on um monday this week today's tuesday so yesterday so um what I did 
was I hopped on. So my daily challenge was to get... Let me take a step back here. So there's a trophy in the first DLC, the Outer Rim DLC, that's to complete 10 daily challenges. My daily challenge that I had yesterday was to actually um, destroy 10 vehicles. So what we did was we went into... Uh, what is it called? Um, Fighter Squadron. We went into Fighter Squadron because I needed to get the kill 10 enemies in a match of Fighter Squadron trophy, and I also needed the trophy for defeating the Millennium Falcon and Slave 1. So I was like, let's go into Fighter Squadron. We'll, you know, we'll get this trophy and this trophy, and then I'll also complete my daily challenge as well. So we did that. And then the other thing that we did was we started doing um, extraction wins and just working towards unlocking all of these guns, the Rebel V10, DL-18, Scattergun, and Do Deoxys Grenades, and anything else we kind of just worked for it because most of these what it requires you to do is just get so many kills with a certain weapon and then eventually you'll uh you'll unlock the weapon that you need in the hut contracts it tells you exactly what you need to do but for the most part most of the weapons just require you to get kills or just activate abilities or something like that so you just have to know what you're doing before you go into a round because you cannot change your star cards when you get into the round but you can change your weapons it's kind of stupid plus once you get into the round you can't check your hut contracts you can only check them at the beginning so you kind of have to like organize everything before you go into your game, but we probably got um, or or I can talk I can I can I can speak for myself for this trophy the no such thing as luck I unlocked the scatter gun and the deoxys grenades last night um, actually no I didn't unlock the scatter gun no yes I did I did I I might not have. I have like a few kills left, I think, to do the scattergun. I unlock the de Deoxys grenade. The Rel B V10 you get from a hero pick. Well, you can get from a hero pickup. And the DL18, I just had to get scout pistol kills, like 15 or something like that. So it wasn't that bad. But yeah, I, I almost have that done. Um, but we're going to, you know, play through this, do the daily challenges, do the extraction. This will be a pretty easy DLC. Bestman's basically done. I just have to... I, un I already unlocked the X8 uh, Night Sniper, even though that's the gun that Lando has, and I unlocked the EE4, so I can technically get that I'll take that bet trophy. That's no big deal. Um, down here on Death Star, you have to get 20 kills with secondary fire using the Briar Pistol or Heavy Repeater. Hmm. Doesn't sound too difficult. And then down here in the Rogue One, you just have to get 30 kills with the DT-29, 20 kills with the A-18 and the Sonic Imploder, and then just complete that. So most of these DLCs, it's the textbook. If you guys have ever played Battlefield, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, especially Battlefield 1, uh, that's this is how the DLCs are structured. Like, get kills with this weapon and do something like this. Very easy. Very easy. But that's that slowly working through and hopefully we'll have this done within the next few weeks and last but not least i have nba live 19 i wasn't planning on starting nba live 19 but i was looking at the live events and everything and it kind of made sense to just start the game and do the live events and start working towards some of the other trophies so carlos and i have been playing this we, we played with almighty last night as well so we've been playing this and uh the thing that we're going for playing with each other is i think it's this 100 miles the reaching legend status and live run hype you have to reach legend status in like every single in career live run hype and court battle so uh, it, it just takes a lot of it takes time, not a lot of time. It takes time, but the main goal was to get these live event trophies because um, we got the one, but for some reason the co-op one wasn't working. And then other than that, it's just playing online, so it's no big deal. But uh, that's what I've been playing this week. Again, not that much. It, it's been a decent amount of stuff, but not super crazy. So what I plan on playing in the upcoming week is. Obviously, boosting Star Wars Battlefront probably a few nights this week, possibly every night this week until we're done everything but the what we need um, more people for. Uh, playing more Sekiro and also possibly another game on stream, doing those last those few additional feats in Assassin's Creed Odyssey possibly tonight. I still would like to get through NBA Live 18, the second managers list. All I have to, or second GM list. All I have to do to get through this is literally complete like five more games or something like that, or win five more games in Ultimate Team. So I should probably get around to that uh, sometime soon. Uh, I did not, you know, I, I always joke about the Grand Tour. Uh, I actually didn't play the episode of the Grand Tour yet 
because Sunday night I streamed. I didn't stream. I didn't stream Sunday night because we were playing NBA Live, I think. Or I don't know what was going on, but I didn't stream Sunday night. I didn't stream Saturday or Sunday. I really slacked. So I haven't played the Grand Tour yet. I will probably play that sometime this week, do that episode and um, catch up on that. And then the other thing that I didn't do this last week that I would like to do this week is finish the arcade mode stuff in Far Cry 5. Uh, I don't want to put too much on my plate, but... I think between NBA Live, Grand Tour, Far Cry 5, Battlefront, possibly NBA Live 19 because we played that last night, and Sekiro and the Assassin's Creed Odyssey additional feats, I think I'll have plenty of stuff to play this week, and I think I'll have plenty on my plate. The other thing that I might possibly try to do this week is AFK some Division Last Stand. I didn't really do too much last week because I wasn't having luck finding anyone during the day, but I might try again this week, see if I can find people. If not, it's going to be what it's going to be because, you know, I, I just slacked. The other game that I might start AFK pretty soon is um doom on the ps4 just because with that new doom coming out you know we don't know what's going to happen so we probably should just afk that and and get that out of the way so that might be something that happens pretty soon and uh yeah now i do want to mention something so i am using a different uh software to record my screen and everything and it doesn't actually have a timer to tell me how long i've been recording so these videos one of these videos might go over an hour it might be an hour or it might be 15 minutes i don't know because i really don't even know how long i've been recording right now so this is a new game new game of who knows how long i've been recording and hopefully or maybe it'll go over an hour who knows We'll have to wait and see, but I don't think I have anything really to rant on this week. Again, I know people really enjoy those rants, but I really don't have anything. I'm trying to think, uh, like, boosting-wise, like, basically everything that I boosted this week was pretty smooth. Uh, you know, chivalry went very fast. I was the only one that needed to get the trophies, so, like... I didn't even have to die for anyone, so it went extremely fast, faster than I thought it would go. Um, Battlefront went pretty smooth. I mean, it was a little annoying because of the amount of people that were there and people were joining later. I mean, I guess that was kind of annoying, but th my trophies and what I was going for went pretty smooth, so I can't really be too angry about that. Um... But I think, you know, everything else went pretty smooth this week. I don't think I had any issues with anything. The only thing that really frustrated me throughout the week was when I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And just like the, the, how the stealth in that game is just absolutely broken. I don't understand it. Like, I, I don't understand how you can have a game that's supposed to, basically supposed to be built around stealth. Like, the main purpose of the game is stealth. Stealth killing, being stealthy, um... Or, or, or that's what it was about, and then now it's like the game is completely taken a 180, and like it's hard to be stealthy, or it's difficult. Even if you're playing on the normal difficulty, it can be challenging to be stealthy. Like they want you to actually get into battle and fight people one on one or one v twenty or whatever the hell the game wants you to do. So that that's a little bit annoying to me, but. Um, with me having the game platinumed and really only having the Atlantis DLC left and a few additional feats missions, I'm not too worried about it. And it's going to be what it's going to be. And, uh, you know, that's that. I guess what I can do real quick is uh, if so, what I did, <clears throat> if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, it's my Twitch. This 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 the Twitch channel. So check that out if you haven't already. So what I've done down here is I've added um my upcoming platinum trophies and this is basically my stream schedule for the most part is what i'm going to stick to probably down until here-ish i just added the two franchises because those are the franchises that i personally would really like to do but we'll see if i do them but this is kind of like the the list of games that i'll probably do on stream so you know keep an eye out for that if uh if you want to go look at what i'm planning on doing and then again this is my twitch channel so if you want to go follow me there i'd would greatly appreciate it anyway i think i'm gonna end the video here because my stomach is starting to really hurt and i think i might have to go use the restroom so i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did be sure to leave a like leave any questions or comments 
down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys have been playing, what you've been up to. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff, some videos, my profile, which you're looking at here, my Twitter, my Twitch. So if you want to go follow me on any of those things or go check any of that stuff out, I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, that that's just that. Anyway, uh, like I said, let me know what you guys have been playing down in the comments below, what you've been up to, what you're excited for, any games or anything that have, that are going to be coming out. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider for subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.